and welcome to Glowing Beauty with Jamie. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello to any of my new subscribers. Today has been a great mail day. I just filmed my video using the Makeup Geek rebranded products and I'm so excited. I am so happy. I can't say I get enough good, but enough about that. That was the whole reason I ran to my mailbox was that package was there, but surprise, there was another package. My Beautylish Lucky Bag has arrived. So let's unbox that and see what we got, shall we? So oof, this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, again, beautiful paper. And I have to keep all this packing material now, being that, you know, with the whole moving, it's all gonna come in handy. So, oh my goodness. So, on the back it says, Lucky Bags are a Japanese New Year custom that inspire us to create our own. The crane on this year's Lucky Bag symbolizes longevity and good luck. We hope the surprises inside make your 2020 a little more lucky. Let's hope so, y'all. Okay, so, whew, there's a fair amount of stuff. So, let's see what we got. So, the first item I'm going to pull out is Good, Mo Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant-derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. Interesting. Gently massage onto, cleaned, onto cleansed skin. When using scun sunscreen, I can't English today. When using sunscreen, let priming moisturizer fully absorb before applying. I'm I'm all for a good moisturizer. I have been using my what is this called? Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. 50-50 on it so far, but it's only been a couple weeks, so I can't really form a good opinion on it. Um, let's get this out of the box. And I believe Good Molecules is Beautylish's own brand. So here's the packaging. No smell. I appreciate that. So we will give that a whirl. We got a Natasha Denona palette. Now I feel bad. I was just bashing Natasha Denona. Not bashing, but it is the Coral palette. Now don't get me wrong. Natasha Denona makes amazing shadows. They are nice. Ooh, very pretty. But my... Why I like companies, brands, Makeup Geek is doing it. They're not the only ones that do the magnetic pans as you pick your own colors. Like these are all nice wearable colors, but say, I don't like this. Well, now I've spent an obscene amount of money on a shadow I, I'm not gonna wear, but we're gonna give that a whirl at some point. It is beautiful. We got a Jouer Long Wear Lip Cream in Citronade Rose. Now I used, oh, I used to be obsessed with Jouer. I have a lot of other lip products, but most of them are at that point of, they need to be, you know. So I will use these. They are nice. They are very nice. Give that a quick swatch. Ooh, so pretty. So I do enjoy these. I wouldn't say they're my absolute favorite formula, but they are nice. We got a Sonia G brush. Ooh. Smudger one. Y'all know how I am with my bougie brushes. Oh, I my favorite brushes that I use are, I use absolutely every single day, are my Wayne Goss brushes and my brushes are my favorite i can't wait 
I had been eyeing these up for a long time, but being on a no slash low buy, I didn't splurge. I'm so excited for that. Yay. We also got Pharmacy Bright On Vit Massage Activated Vitamin C Mask with Echinacea Green Envy. Okay, I think I've mentioned this before. I've had some issues with the Pharmacy brand. I've used some of their gentle products and it has burned or irritated my skin. So we'll try it. We'll try it. Um, let's sniff it. Oh, it's sealed. I'll try it. And fingers crossed that it doesn't irritate my skin. And last product already. This is Holofrog Shasta AHA Refining Acid Wash. Okay, not too sure what exactly. If the glow is gone, you need to wash it back in. When the pimples are back in town, it's time to cleanse them away. Clogged pore, pores, rough texture, a zit or two or five, overall dullness, or just a simple look of blah could all be treated with proper exfoliation. Okay. So only use it once a day. So if you wash your face twice a day, it says only use it once. Okay, it's kind of cute packaging. I am using Origins, their ginseng cleanser, and I love it. Love, love, love so much. So we can try alternating. Give that a whirl. And that was my Beautylish Lucky Bag, guys. I know I've gotten them in the past and it's always, there's usually that one product that you're like, oh my gosh, that is so amazing. I love it. I can't live without it. And then there's a lot of uh, products kind of. So my biggest win out of this is a brush. <laughs> so was it worth the money? Dollar wise, yes. Yes, absolutely. Dollar wise, you get your dollar amount in the lucky bag. No question. Some of this stuff, you know, moisturizer, cleanser. Eh, we'll use it. We'll try it. We'll figure it out. I do enjoy mystery bags where you kind of get, I have found some great winners out of mystery bags, things that you might not have tried before. And then you get try on a mystery bag. So you end up loving it. So we're going to give it all a fair go and we'll see. I'll keep you all updated. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like the video, make sure you're subscribed with the bell on so you're notified anytime I post. Share if you feel so inclined. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. Bye.